Hi, today on the 737 NGXC, I'll show you how I went from this to this. The backside of the Cockpit Sonic Throttle Quadrant is straight compared to some of the other throttle out there on the market that have an angle that should resemble the same angle that the uh, CDU bay has. This gap here needs to be closed. Isn't really a necessity, but it's more of a cosmetic situation. I really don't like to see cables uh, from the throttle, from the radios going across from uh, one part to another part of the cockpit. In addition to create the structure going around the cockpit, the, the throttle, one thing we also need to make sure is that we're going to raise the entire throttle a little bit upwards so that can be in line with the CDU bay. The thing is, if I get this throttle closer to the CDU bay, when I deploy full throttle, the handles of the uh, reverse thrust hit the CDU bay. Because right now, the way it is, maybe because I made a mistake in building the CDU bay and the entire uh, cockpit, I'm not sure, but right now it's just these handles will hit this. I am using a standard sheet of plywood 6 mm thick. They come already pre-cut to 122cm by 61cm at the hardware shop. With one sheet I'll be able to make both sides of the structure easily. I'll start by cutting the sheet in half. Then recutting it to a closer size. Thinking about it now, I could have taken a larger section out before cutting it down to half and use it for a future project. I guess those are all things you learn by making mistakes. From this point on, it's all about cutting the various corners to the final shape. To do this only one time, I use double sticky tape to keep the two sections together. I then make sure I place one part on top of the other very carefully, making sure that both sides are flush with each other. At this point, I am marking which side is which and start drawing with a pencil the final shape of the sections. This is really important that you take your time, since the shape I'm looking for is not made just of 90 degrees corners, but we need to make sure that we duplicate the same angle of the CDU bay. I'm setting the blade just a little bit higher than the thickness of the plywood. I carefully start making the first cut by following the lines I've pre-drawn, keeping in mind that the underside of the blade will always cut more than what I see being cut on, to on the top side. So to avoid cutting too much, I stop earlier before the blade reaches the end of the line. After the first few cuts are done with the table saw, I switch to cut the rest manually using a very thin blade. I clamp the section to the workbench and then clamp a straight edge on top of it, right where the lines are. While I'm uh, speeding this video up for necessity, the cuts were made by taking as much time as I could to try and keep them precise. I've clamped the side temporarily to the throttle. Now we need to figure out a way of connecting the two the same in a way that is going to look like a casing of the throttle. The idea is to have a piece of wood which will go from one side to the other and this will be very close to the throttle. Um, it will be basically attached to the throttle and then two more on the front side. One, again, attached to, not, not screwed into the throttle, but it will touch the throttle. It will be screwed from the two sides. 
uh, and then another one a bit more further down so that these two wings that will be touching the uh, the two wings that will be touching the CDU bay uh, they won't they won't flex they will always be at the same distance between each other the next step as you probably already notice the throttle is lift up from the floor this is so that when it's close to the CDU it reaches the right level the right height uh, against the CDU so what I need to do is I have to measure this part here and I will build blocks where the throttle will be resting on those blocks will have some a type of L shape you will see it later on one side is going to be screwed to this side and then the other part will be screwed to the actual uh, platform of the cockpit this way the throttle uh, will just not move at all especially I mean the throttle itself is already let's say relatively heavy it doesn't really move much when you operate it however the flaps when you move the flaps especially when you sit on the side you might put a little bit of pressure as you can see it, it, it shakes so we need to find a way of holding it still against the platform we're doing a little uh, test fitting to see how how's it going from a from a corner perspective I'm pretty happy how it came out uh, it is not screwed in so these are the L-shaped parts I was uh, talking about both sides the TQ is resting on them and this is basically the precise height so that on the other side is at the same level with the CDU bay what we're going to do next we're going to place this here and I've been screwing it from both sides this hole here is to uh, to put the the radios cable the CP flight radios cable it is the right size I've already tested it'll go right through there so on neither of the two sides of the TQ you'll be seeing any wires going around on these sides here on both sides it's difficult to say now but I've already pre-drilled pre two holes on each side and I will be putting two screws that will go through this section here and through the platform that way not only the TQ will not move but the entire structure will not be able to move once is in that position this is clamped at the back and screwed in we can slowly move this backwards so that I have access on the front side we're gonna try and do that without basically breaking anything I'll look, remove the cables I'm going to place this one here a bit higher
is now clamped on both sides. What we're going to need to do now is that the last part, this is purely for stability and I think I'll be putting it somewhere around here. It's now time to sand and paint it before final installation. Since I pre-drilled and countersinked every hole I made, I will be first filling those holes in. I'm using a tight bond wood filler. This was recommended to me by a wood shop, however I must admit I'm not really happy with it. I find it a little bit too dry for my taste. I'll use a spatula to put in uh, some of it in each hole, making sure I put extra so that I can later sand the excess. Once the filler is dry, I'll start sanding everything with 150 grit paper. Then remove the dust with a dump cloth and sand it again with a 320 grit paper. Finally is painting time. And I say finally not because I love painting, but usually because when you get to the painting part, it generally means that you've already nearly reached the end of the project. I'm starting with a coat of wood primer and let it dry overnight. I do need at least 24 hours for the paint to dry this period. Right now it's way too cold outside, but in summer it does take less time to dry. After I did two coats of glossy white, I don't think that glossy should really be used, but I noticed that over time glossy paint is stronger than standard one. Time to fix the new structure to the platform. I'm going to use the two pre-drilled holes I mentioned before, making sure that before I drive the screws in, that the structure is well positioned against the CDU bay. Then I get my temporary pedestal and bring it close so that I can pass the cable through the hole I made in the block of wood. I'll connect the radio cable to the MCP cable and then I make sure that the cable lies nicely on the floor so that when I place the throttle back on top of it it's not gonna sit on top of the cable. I'm placing the TQ back in the structure and I have to say if I had some help here it would have been much better. I first place it at an angle giving me room to reconnect power a data cable on the front side. The first one is the USB data cable and the second one is the cable going to the power supply which is a mix of 5 and 12 volts. Now finally setting the TQ straight making sure it sits correctly. A little testing to see if there is any play but it does really feel strong even operating the flaps. Aligning the pedestal right in position and this project is also done. Now I'd like to thank you for sticking with the channel. For the next episode I'll be adding a new toy to the cockpit which I plan to pick up any day now. I won't say what it is but trust me it's nice. I'll do an unpacking video and probably include the installation of it. If you like this video don't forget to click that subscribe button this way you won't miss the next episode. Thank you and happy flying!